The debate over the Wilderness Act was a relatively peaceful prelude to a new era of environmental activism, cultural transformation, and social protest. People became more outspoken, wanting to get more involved, unwilling to trust the government. The plan is to spray new brush and tree sprouts with chemicals. Our western campgrounds have been taken over by what may best be described as colonies of people, hippie types. Well, it is a, a time of crisis, I guess you might say, a time of uncertainty anyway. I now turn to a subject which next to our desire for peace may well become the major concern of the American people in the decade of the 70s. It is a cause of particular concern to young Americans because they, more than we, will reap the grim consequences of our failure to act on programs which are needed now if we are to prevent disaster later. Clean air, clean water, open spaces, these should once again be the birthright of every American. The love affair start ending in the in the 60s but the divorce didn't occur until the 70s with the monongahela and the bitterroot two national forests the monongahela and the bitterroot focus national attention on the forest service on the bitterroot timber managers were clear cutting on steep slopes then terracing the hillside to retain the soil they thought if we want to really maximize future growth, let's terrace those lands, you know, like rice paddy fields almost in, in China. But geez, the people wouldn't settle for tearing down a mountain to get the trees to grow. In the early 1970s, Gifford Pinchot, though he had died in 1946, re-entered the political stage once more. And he did so through the voice of his only son, Gifford Bryce Pinchot. In the Bitterroot Valley, Gifford Bryce stood within a clear cut launched by the Forest Service and denounced the Forest Service in his father's name. He went to the Bitterroot and they took him to a clear cut called the Oh My God clear cut. Because when you come around the corner and you look at it, you go, Oh my God. Because it's a high on a hill and the road comes right into the middle of it and it is the most awful looking thing. I've been back to those terrace landscapes. The fact is they worked, but they just looked terrible. They looked very destructive. In West Virginia, foresters on the Monongahela plan to regenerate valuable hardwoods by removing lesser quality trees. People in some of these very critical communities could see these clear cuts out of their kitchen window. So culturally, it made a lot of sense but it was like poking the public in the eye. Some local hunting groups were really angered at an extensive set of clear cutting that the Forest Service was doing. These were turkey hunters. They'd go out to this favorite hunting spot and they'd find it had been completely clear cut. And the uh, administrators of the Monongahela at that time said, now don't worry, we know what's best. Just let us do it and five years we'll show you an improved forest. And that didn't sell. <laughs> 